Hello, my name is Swasti Verma with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how to configure boot P server in wireless LAN AD100 controller from CLI. First, we will go into the command line interface of the controller and issue the command EN to get into the privilege mode. Once in privilege mode, we will enter into configuration mode by issuing the command config T. Here, to view the boot P status, we will issue the command show IP boot P. Once this command is executed, we see that boot P slash DHCP mode is in the boot P when needed mode. In this video, we will be changing it to last use. For changing it to last use, we will issue the command IP boot P server last. Once this command executes, to view the changes, we will again issue the command show IP boot P. Once this command executes, we see that boot P slash DHCP mode has changed to last address. We can disable the boot P server in wireless LAN AD100 controller by issuing the command no IP boot P server. Once this command executes, to view the changes, we will again issue the command show IP boot P. Once this command executes, we see that boot P slash DHCP mode is in disabled state. To bring back the boot P in default configuration in the controller, we will issue the command default IP boot P server. Once this command executes, we will again issue the command show IP boot P to view the changes. Here we see that boot P slash DHCP mode is boot P when needed, which is the default boot P status of the controller. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.